welcome everybody to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like the channel and stay with us by subscribing that subscription button. It's free. We don't charge you anything for it. You also have the notification bell. You must turn it on in order to receive the new uploads. I do want to mention I do have a private crochet group if you want to be part of the group. All the links will be in the description box below the video. Some of you still don't know where to go below. I do have a video um, that explains how to slow down the speed of the video, turn your closed caption on, and how to uh, full screen your uh, either mobile or your iPod or your tablet and get a close up of the stitch that's going on. Everything is listed below or you can go into the playlist on my channel and you'll see it there and or go into videos on my channel and you can see it tells you tips on on the crochet uh, um, stitching and so on okay so normally i use 2.75 hook it's my one to tuck in loose ends and a pair of scissors 99.9 percent .9 of my thread is 100 percent cotton thread these are four ply similar to Aunt lydia number three cotton my thread's a little bit thinner so my pieces become smaller than yours if you're using Aunt lydia number three I also do have a crochet page you can follow me and Instagram and TikTok. So all of these things will be below the description box. Um, my threads are 100% um, uh, cotton threads, obviously. They are um, 100 grams equivalent to 300, 325 yards. They're $12.00. A ball minimum um, of um, ordering is six balls, and that includes shipping. I gain nothing by it. A lot of you keep asking me about it. I also block my patterns. Some of you have asked me how I block my patterns with laundry softener mixed with a little bit of water. Any laundry softener that you use smells absolutely delicious on the patterns. Spray it, stretch it with your hands. I don't have time to let it just dry, so I light a steam iron over it and it becomes nice and straight. Remembering that if your stitch is too tight, always go a hook or two bigger than your normal size. If it's too loose, then go a hook or two smaller than your normal size so you can have the perfect stitch. Make sure that you always watch the videos up ahead before you create anything. Mistakes can be done. We can fix it without taking it down. Um, that goes for my video and I'm sure for many others uh, probably that uh, do the same thing. Okay, I don't know, but I'll speak for myself. I don't add it my mistakes. I usually show you and tell you how to correct it. Okay, so please give a thumbs up on the videos. It's extremely important, not just mine, but anybody that is a creator. It helps the channel quite a bit. Sharing is caring, so please do share with your friends and family. Bring them along to the channel. It helps it grow, and it makes us to continue on with these tutorials, or else it's literally impossible to continue. Okay, so thank you so much, everybody. Okay, everyone, so we're going to create this beautiful doily. I have so many similar. Uh, it almost looks the same, but it's not. There's always a twist stitch to it. Okay, very simple, very fast, very economic. Not forgetting that you can create it into the white, into the red, and finish with the green, or the other way around, green, white, and then red, or red, green, and white. Make it the Christmas theme if you'd like. Okay, this is in black and silver, and I do have uh, edged with the uh, bling bling black somewhere. <laughs> Can't even find my stuff, let me tell you. Um, good habits. It must have flew behind me somewhere. I have a bad habit of working with thread all over the floor around me. Of course, the floor is clean, or else I wouldn't be having it on the floor. I know some of you might comment on it. Not all of you, but sometimes, you know, the nasty comments that come in. But anyway, so this is the bling bling gray and black, very shiny. It's like a nylon, thin, 
but perfect to make these little slip stitch around it and give it that beautiful effect. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using a 2.75 hook, a small one to tuck in loose ends, of course a pair of scissors, and we'll be going into the black and gray and then the bling, bling at the end. Um, this gray is number 12. As you see here, we go by numbers, not by name of color. Four ply, similar to Aunt Lydia number three. Aunt Lydia will be bigger because it's a thicker thread. Okay, let's get started, everyone. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you haven't. All of these things are free. You should know that by now. But there's always newcomers that come in and don't know yet. So by hitting that subscription right below, it's free. And the bell notification to be notified of my new uploads when it does come out. Okay, thank you, everyone. So the first thing you want to do is that magic circle in case you can't do a four to five chain, depending upon your tension on your stitch. So I'm just secure, securing with a slip stitch in there and then coming back in doing a single and two chain. That's my first double crochet. I'm going to do one more chain for space. So we're having one chain space between the 12 double crochets. And that's included with my first one. Okay, row one. I've done my 12 double crochet. I'm going to try to see if I can bring this up a little bit more because I know black sometimes it's hard to see. And I'm going to close it on my second chain from the very first one we went up. Okay, now I'm going to come in the center of that one chain space with single and two chain. That's my first double crochet. This is row two. Doing another double crochet so and one chain space. So we are going in working in that one chain space two double crochet. So groups of two double crochet together and one chain into the next space two double crochets in that one chain space that we have between them and one chain again okay so row two two double crochet inside of that one chain space and one chain space between them i'll meet you at the end so i finished doing my last chain so i started with a single and two chain and i'm coming in my second ch uh, chain and closing it in with slip stitch going into row three row three we are going to do three double crochets so i'm doing the walk as i call it with slip stitch to the center of my one chain with a single and two chain and inside of the same space i'm going to create two more double crochets so now we're doing groups of three double crochet one chain space into the next space of one chain and create your group of three double crochet. So very simple and very beautiful pattern. Remembering whatever colors you use, it outstands more. This is for a set that I'm creating. So for those reasons, uh, it's an order. For those reasons, I'm doing the black and silver. Okay, and gray, of course. Okay, so one, two, three and one chain space into the next one row three okay okay everyone so going into row four so i've closed in with slip stitch i'm going to do the walk with a slip stitch in between the double crochets here coming into the center with a single and two chain i'm going to create a shell of two double crochet one chain and two more double crochet all in the same uh, space one chain into the next create your shell again so this row four is just two double crochet one chain and two more in the same space same stitch okay so shell of two double crochet one chain okay two double crochet all in the same one chain space one chain space between the shelves all the way around the same way this is row four 
Okay, everyone. So finished row four. Did my last one chain space. Closed in on my second chain from the first one I went up with slip stitch. Again, I'm going to do the walk, as I call it, with slip stitch to the center of this shell with single and two chain. Again, another double crochet on the same stitch. One chain coming into the next space of one chain. So this row, um, one, two, three, four, five, is two double crochet groups inside of the one chain space. Okay, so into that one chain, create two double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I finished my row five, one, two, three, four, five, going into row six. So I've closed in with slip stitch, did the walk. Now I'm going to do my single and two chain. And this time I'm going to create three double crochets inside of this space and one chain space. Now this row six and row seven is a repeat. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. On the next row will be exactly the same thing as row six on row seven. That means you'll be doing three double crochets inside of the one chain space and one chain space. So it's just a repeat of the same exact thing as we're doing now. Three double crochets, one chain. Three double crochets. one chain space into the next one. So this is row six and row seven will be a repeat. So I'll meet you at the end of row seven. Okay, everyone. So I've done row seven. Now on that one, I did do row eight in black. This one, I'm going to do it different because I'm alternating these placements. Okay. So I'm going to use the gray. So I'm coming on top of any of the double crochets and doing my single and my two chain. That's my first double crochet on top of the next double crochet, double crochet into the next one. So this is row eight, double crochet inside of the one chain space double crochet. So it's all double crochets all the way around and then one per stitch. One inside of the chain space. Try to bring the camera a little bit up. And one per stitch. Like I said, you can use the same color if you'd like and then change color on the next row. I'm alternating the colors here on the placement, okay? And it gives you an idea also of the different effect that you can get to the pattern. So this is row eight. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished doing my double crochets. I'm going to come back in the same one and do a single one, two, three, four, five chain. Skipping one, two, into the third one. Single one, two, three, four, five chain. Skip the two into the third one, single. So row nine will be all loops of five chain, skipping two stitch and into the third. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished doing my five chain loops here to have 32 five chain loops. Okay, so here I'm to do my last one, my 32 uh, uh, chain loops. So I'm going to do one chain only and I'm going to come where I have that first single we did and I'm doing a sideways double crochet because I want to end up on the center here. Coming back in doing a single one, two, three, four, five, and six. Coming in the next one. So we're creating this time loops of six double crochet. Actually, two more rows. So we'll have a total of four rows 
of loops. So only the first one is five chain and the next three will be a six chain. And you can just do exactly what I've done here. One chain and then into that first single that we started off and do the sideways double crochet. So you can come back in, do a single and then your six chain again. If you prefer to do your six chain and then do the walk in between them into the center with slip stitch, then go ahead. You can do it that way too. So two, three, four, five, six, and back in. I will repeat it one more time once I get to the end of this row. Like this, you'll be sure to know how to do it, okay? Okay, everyone, so I've reached the last one. I'm going to do this time one, two, three chain because we do have six on this one remember so I'm going to do that sideways so I'm coming in that single and doing double crochet so it becomes sideways coming back in single one two three four five six chain into the center the next one and the next row also will be exactly the same thing so I'll meet you at the end uh, so this is 11 so this is row 11 we have one more row 12 let's just make sure 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 row 12 will be exactly the same thing and i'll meet you at the end of row 12 uh beginning of row 13 which will be the last row row 13 okay okay everyone so i've done my four rows of the loops first row five chain second six third six and and fourth sixth so i've closed in with slip stitch coming into this first loop here and doing my first double crochet single two chain and continuing to do 11 more so i'll have a total of 12 double crochets inside of this six chain loop Twelve double crochets. Now, if your stitch is a little bit loose, you can do directly into the next um, stitch. If it's a little bit too tight, then do one chain space between them. So I'm doing my twelve. So we came in with a single. Doing my twelve double crochets again. So it's just a repeat of the same thing now. One loop is single, one loop is 12 double crochet. So four. Of course, my hands are stretched out, so it keeps pulling off camera on my face. You know how that goes. I've mentioned that so many times. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 again into the next loop single okay and then I'm cutting my thread and I'm going to come in with the silver and black bling bling okay everyone last row <clears throat> I'm coming in with that bling uh, silver black but I'm leaving a little bit of thread so I can tie at the end when I get to it Oof. I don't know what I was doing. So used to making the magic circle. So I'm going to do that slip stitch knot. And like I said, I'm leaving it a little bit long. So I'm coming in. Let me just get this a little bit more closer. In any stitch, you can start off in any stitch. So I'm bringing it from the back to the front. And this is just going to be just a slip stitch on each um, each stitch now we don't want to pull too much on it we don't want that to come to the front that knot so go on each stitch and then just slip stitch simple as that and it gives you that gorgeous effect 
And you can use whatever colors you want that you're doing. Let's say if you're in the Christmas themes or whatever. In the greens, in the red, in the white. Okay, so just slip stitch in here also on that uh, space into the next one. So very simple, nothing to it. And then at the end, you'd make two, three knots with your threads and tuck it in. To make sure that nothing comes apart, especially with this nylon, everything slips, right? So I have to be extremely careful when I'm, when I'm doing that. And it gives you this beautiful effect. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've reached the end. I'm going to pull my thread a bit, and I'm going to come into the next stitch. And I'm going to bring my thread to the back. We need to bring it to the back in order to tie it back there. Okay, so pulling out to that thread. And just going to make a few knots to make sure that nothing comes apart. Especially with this thread and then just tuck in through the other uh, threads that you have behind here and you can always make a knot out of it too as you're pulling the thread back here just to give it that extra secure okay so this does it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it very simple and the two colors are just amazing together and this one like i said i've done row seven with the black which is all the double crochets and each one of them just looks perfect okay so thank you so much, everyone. I will see you in the next tutorial. God bless. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And also sharing is caring. So please do share. Get your friends and family to join in. Till next time, everyone. Bye-bye.